Now, Apple CEO Tim Cook says the company has assisted the government, but if they do what they're being asked, it could pave the way for massive privacy problems. And joining me is Shani, Shani Zidane, editor and partner of the weblog Young Young. Thank you so much for joining me again. <laughs> it's um, a pleasure. Let's talk about, you know, I've read a couple of articles this morning, and one uh, specifically on Daily Beast, and they point to a case that took place in Brooklyn, in New York, where Apple did turn over encrypted information. So what's the difference this time around? Set us straight here. Well, as we've written about on Boing Boing over the years, uh, the government, our, the American government, has had, uh, the encryption has been like a thorn in the government's side for some years. This debate goes back to the 1990s where uh, lawmakers were saying maybe, maybe crypto should be considered a weapon. What's happening here isn't that uh, the court or the FBI is ordering the, uh, Apple to unlock the phone, but rather to create a whole new version of its iOS operating system. Uh, we could call it the FBI OS. In other words, a version just for the FBI to use, uh, supposedly just in this one case, that would allow the FBI to unlock all sorts of other information on the phone. The, the point is that uh, they want to brute force the password, and Apple built in something on this generation of the iPhone that basically says if somebody's trying to slam in uh, infinite versions of uh, numerical codes, uh, you, should, you should lock that down. So the FBI wants to force Apple engineers to write a whole new version of that iOS and promises, oh, there's no way that this could get in the hands of uh, criminals, other terrorists, China. Uh, I think Donald Trump and the other uh, GOP candidates are lying, and they know it when they say that this is a choice between security and privacy. This is a choice between surveillance and privacy, and it's the tipping point in uh, asking every technology yeah. company everywhere to rewrite its code at the government's request whenever demanded to by a court. We know that, she, that the government and, and some of the tech giants have been in talks for some time, that this issue is not new. Now, you have some of those um, who perhaps see the view that you've pointed out as the San Bernardino case is the example that the American public can see and be afraid of, and the FBI can say, see, this is what we're trying to protect you from on the other side um, of this equation. Again, it's been noted that if this, this lock or this master key is created, then what is it, what could stop other governments like China, for example, and saying, listen, we want the same thing, so it could perhaps be endless. But again, going back to my question, this case in New York that involved a meth dealer and some of this encrypted information was provided in that investigation, I believe Apple's response was that this was an older version of its phone system, but since then, they've worked even harder to make sure right. that no one, including the government, can get in. But they have done it before with a different version. You know, it's true. Uh, and one of the interesting things about all of this, Tamron, is that we're seeing that privacy has become a big selling point for Apple. It's notable that yesterday also uh, the, the CEO of Google uh, also came out and said, you know, we support, basically, we support Tim Cook in saying no to the government on this request. If Apple uh, bends over this time, Google, Facebook, all of these other companies that have so much of our information will be forced to do the same. And and as you rightly point out, uh, Apple is building what it says is stronger and stronger privacy because we rely more and more on these devices. Make no mistake about it, what this fight is about is how far we want our government to be able to push technology companies to force them to commit acts of surveillance. That, that's what this really is about. If the FBI wanted this information, uh, I, I suspect that there are all sorts of ways that they could go about getting the data that they need to keep America safe. This is about well, and using they are saying it. They want this critical, they, well, they want this critical 18 minutes, they say, of time where they've not been able to account uh, what was happening with the shooters in San Bernardino. We'll see what happens as we wait to see if uh, Tim Cook and Apple changes its position on this. But Shanae Jardin, thank you so much with Beyond Beyond. We greatly appreciate it. And that Thank does you, it Tamara. for this edition of MSNBC Live.